replacing the stock thermostat on my E39 with an 88 degree C thermostat from ECS Tuning. The factory thermostat on the E39 is electric. That's why it has this plug on top because it's controlled by the computer. For some reason, and I think it has to do with emissions, the E39 runs extremely hot, like 220 degrees Fahrenheit normal running temperature, which is a good 30 degrees hotter than your average engine. And to maintain such a high temperature, BMW went with an extremely high pressure radiator cap of about 30 PSI. That puts a lot of pressure and strain on your cooling system, all your hoses, water pump, everything's under a lot of pressure, and that is why you have a lot of cooling issues with the E39, because the system is just so over-engineered. So we're gonna replace this with an 88 degree C, which is about 190 degrees Fahrenheit thermostat from ECS Tuning. So we're gonna lower it down to a bit more of a normal temperature range. Should take some of that pressure off all of our hoses, make everything last longer. It's also gonna leave your plastic parts. Heat destroys plastic. So all your plastic parts are going to last longer by keeping the temperatures under the hood lower. You may throw an engine code from it not reaching optimal temperature. Some engines will throw it, some will not, and some will throw a code because of the lack of a plug. I think that's only 2002 models and you'll have to wire in a resistor. Anyone who says that this is too cool or that BMW engineered it that way for a reason, well, the 88 degree thermostat comes off of the next generation 5 series and X5 because BMW realized that system was just too complicated and it wasn't worth it. The replacement thermostat I got, like I said, came from ECS Tuning. It appears to be the same housing that this factory one is in, almost like they took an old factory housing and repurposed it or just made a new casting of a factory housing. And instead of this switch, there's just a little block off plate and the spring is calibrated to open to 88 degrees C. Looks like a great quality part, so let's go ahead and throw it on the car. You already saw me remove all the intake. It's just four clips over here, two clips on the mass housing, and two worm gear clamps. You gotta take off these two fittings right here for vacuum lines. You don't even have to unhook the MAF. You can just slide it out of the way. So super easy to get that out. You can do this with the clutch fan and shroud in the way, but while I've got it out of the way, it's gonna be a lot easier. You've got four 10 millimeter bolts and one plug right here. You've got to take off the main hose coming off of the thermostat, plug the other one in, and you'll be done. First things first, I'm going to remove the one in the back corner because it's the hardest one to get to. The easiest way to do that is undo this bolt here that holds the dipstick tube on, kind of pull it forward just a little bit, and reach a long extension all the way back behind the thermostat, that bottom bolt. Take that one out, and then the other three are super easy. forward, allow you to take your radiator hose off, and we'll go ahead and take this off, you won't need that, so I'm just going to tuck it back here, probably go ahead and touch it up with some uh, electrical tape just to keep it closed off. Now when you take this hose off, you want to pull it off and instantly turn it straight up, so you don't lose too much torque. All right, so I can't get the hose off, so what I'm gonna do is take these other three bolts off and see if I can wiggle it off once I have more access to the hose. All right, so I've got our brand new 88 degree C thermostat here. See where the focus, there it is. So we're just going to install that right back where it came from. Make sure you clean this mating surface right here. It's got a bunch of mineral deposits on it. We don't want that on there. We want to get a nice good seal. So I'm going to get some fine steel wool and clean it all off. Put it back on with some new M6 bolts and we'll be done. And here is our brand new 88 degree C thermostat installed in the car. You can also see over there the thermo switch for my electric fan conversion. I'll link that up in the top somewhere. So all we have to do now is put all the air intake system back on, add some coolant, and then we'll back the car out on the driveway to get some angle and we'll start bleeding the air out of the coolant system. So 
So just to look at it, you wouldn't even really be able to tell that the new thermostat is in there. I'm going to go ahead and add some coolant to the coolant system. We'll back it on the driveway and bleed it. So I've got the car running now. It's a little high right now, but that'll go down as time goes by. I'm seeing bubbles start to come out. I'm keeping an eye on the temperatures with a OBD2 reader. The car is only at about 115 degrees. So I'm just going to keep checking it, keep an eye on it. Just periodically squeezing the hoses. You can see it kind of helps run some water through. I want to try and squeeze all those bubbles out. I don't know if you can tell, my driveway has a slight downward angle to it. That should help with the coolant. And just a little bit, I'm going to back it down so just the tail is in the street. That'll give it an even more angle, help get some more bubbles out of the coolant system. But she's still doing good. We're getting close to where the thermostat should open. I've got the heater turned all the way up just to get everything out. We didn't lose that much coolant, but better to be safe than on the side of the road calling Uber. So now the front of the car is much higher than the back of the car. It's got a good maybe six or seven inches of tilt to it. And that should help get all that air to the front of a coolant system. The lower thermostat definitely came on. Um, I could feel the coolant running through it earlier at about 190 degrees, so that's about perfect. So yeah, successful swap of an 88 degree C thermostat. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button down below. Check out some other videos, and I will see you guys next week.